Well, according to the lobby group Waste to Resource Ontario, the landfills in this province will be full in just nine years. Wow. So with all that waste the Canadians are generating, how do we do our part in lessening the impact across the country? Here with tips and tricks on how to sort our garbage is Assistant Professor of Ecology at the University of Toronto and the co-founder of U of T's trash team, Chelsea Rockman. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for coming back. Welcome to the show. And I know we're going to get to sorting soon, but I want to know, what are the most common mistakes yeah. that we make when it comes to waste disposal? I think the most common thing that just, like, an everyday person does is put their waste in the wrong bin. It's yeah. really important to know where it goes correctly because it actually helps reduce the amount to landfill. Okay. Okay, so what happens to unsorted garbage? Does the municipality actually take care of it, or do they end up just going everything to the landfill. So mm -hmm. everything goes to a different place. So what goes in the black bin goes directly to landfill, gets dumped straight to landfill. What mm -hmm. goes in your green bin gets driven to the, com the compost facility and goes in the composter. What goes in the blue bin goes to a sorting facility, which gets sorted, but by a machine. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. I mean, sometimes it is really tricky to know yeah. mm -hmm. how items should be disposed of if there's something uh, that's actually called, though, the waste wizard. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so we're really lucky in Toronto. So every city is different. No matter right. where you live, the rules change. And in Toronto, they've created this adorable uh, game. Well, it's not really a game, but it's an app called The Waste Wizard. You can download it on your phone. You type in any material. All these materials are there, and it tells you where to throw it. Not oh. every city has an app, but every city has a resource. Okay. Okay. okay, that's good to know. All right. So as you can see, we have some common household items in front of us here, Chelsea. And you're going to ask us to find specific pieces of trash, mm. and we have to sort it into the garbage bin, recycling bin, or the green bin. Now, Mel and Cynthia, why don't you two go first? Why okay. don't we go okay. first? Okay. Here we go. Okay? okay? Here we go. Okay. So okay. you're gonna go first, and you're gonna start with the banana peel. Banana peel, we think compost. Right. Right. Compost. Right. Right. Compost. Yeah. Compost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Done. Okay. Great job. Okay. That Are we is co correct. That's okay. a good start. Yes. 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 It is. We yes. like that. That's organic. It goes it's in your green bin. Okay. 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 What's next? the next one? Okay. okay. Next, we're going over to Jess and Andrea. You okay. have the cereal box. You can choose either. Oh, you give them the easy one. <laughs> okay. Wait. So we got to take this out, and this should go. Somebody say something. Garbage. No. Garbage. Garbage. I don't know. Okay, this, this is, is the box. Blue. Yeah, this is it. Good job. We did it. Oh, yeah. wow. Amazing. Smart the audience, audience too. too. You have to separate two types of material, plastic and cardboard. Cardboard's recyclable. This is not because it is not stretchy. If it was a stretchy bag, oh, recycling. That's why I was confused. Okay, gotcha. Now I know. Yeah, no, that you is did a great. great rule. No. Okay. Huh. Okay. okay. We're up next. We're up next. You're up next. Okay, so you have the plastic water bottle. Oh. So I think this one is clear. That one's recycle. No? I feel like that's recyclable. Yeah. I think recyclable. <laughs> but it's not stretchy. No, no, no. That is I think correct. this one is not because it is filled with water, yeah. but I'm not sure. Well, I would dump this out. Yeah. You would want to dump that Water first. your plant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. water. And your then plant. dump it out. That's right. That is great. Okay. Yeah. Water okay. bottle is the most recyclable thing. So okay. the lid is fine too? Or are we so if to the lid is on it, it is fine. If it is separate, it should go in the waste bin because it's too small, it will fall through the system. But no, you oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Really? You need to, to have the lid. the lid on it. Fascinating. Yes. Okay. All right. No idea. Okay. Okay. We're, next. We're learning okay. What do you got for us? All right. So you have the black plastic. <gasps> okay. Now oh, this is a trick. I think it's yes. a trick. I think I would normally put it in there, but, but I bet it's going it's in there. here because of it's the color. Because of the color. It's not I'm, stretchy. It's my final answer. Good job. You are correct. <laughs> no, so why is that? Fun fact. Yeah. Or confusing fact. If you live in the region of Peel, it actually goes in the recycle bin because they sort by hand. If you live in Toronto, the machine cannot tell the difference because of the color. Because of the color. You're right. I knew wow. that. Yeah. Oh okay. So you're next. Okay. Compostable plastic foodware. It, uh, I, I think it's garbage. Oh, I don't know. Compost. What do you guys think? You said not stretchy. They're saying recycle. We're doing recycle. Okay, that's your first wrong. You were right in the first place. Garbage? You guys scared this me wrong. <laughs> the black bin. Oh, so God. unfortunately, oh, in the I'm city sorry. of Toronto, <laughs> we don't have the right kind of compost facility. So it oh, goes God. in the black bin. It's not recyclable because it's made out of bioplastics. That's right. Okay. okay. And But if you live in other places where there's industrial compost, it can go in the green bin. So check your, your local. Check oh, your local. God. If you're in the okay. city of Toronto and you're a business, don't buy it. It's a not. It's That's extra money for not a green Game. It's money uh, in the garbage, garbage. literally. That's yep. a good point. That's a really good point. Okay. okay. You're next. Okay. Right. Styrofoam container. 
I think this, Come I on. believe this is garbage. I think yeah. it's recyclable. I wish it were blue, but it's black. We're a final answer? Garbage? Yeah. No, that's wrong. Oh! It's recyclable! <laughs> Your wish was correct. It is recyclable. It is it recyclable. It is recyclable. So styrofoam in the recycle. And it is okay. a plastic, which everyone's shocked. Okay. Everyone's okay. shocking. I have that one. no idea. Okay. So does so that quickly include, you know, the thing that meat comes on? And stuff like that, as the styrofoam? As, yes. As long as it's cleaned off. As long as you That's wash right. it off. As long as it's washed. Which okay. brings us to the next item, which is the dirty peanut butter jar. Oh. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. I know this one. It's garbage. No, yeah, yes. We didn't clean it. Because it's not clean. We didn't clean it, so it's garbage. Very good. Yes! Okay. Is this right? Yes. No, no, no. A mechanical they recycler can wrong, spray wrong, it with wrong, water, wrong. break it down, remelt it into a product, but if it's covered in goop, they can't. They can't. So when it's oily, when it's greasy, when it's sticky. Okay, so see how we just did that in the garbage? Yes. Let's say we made a mistake and put it in recycling. Yes. What happens to this whole bin? So this is one of the reasons why people think recycling can sometimes be a myth, because if you recycle wrong, things don't get recycled. So sometimes if you have a bin full of contaminated materials, it might all go to landfill. Oh. If you have a bin with just See? some materials, it might get sorted and be just fine. Okay. You really it might do need to okay. do it. it Waste okay. literacy is important. Okay. 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 Last I one. I think you're okay. next. Plastic cutlery. Do you have plastic cutlery? Uh, plastic. We have tongs. We have tongs. Tongs. Okay. Remember I'm gonna the color. Say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's black, like that, that we container. Go, you guys, yeah, you guys support? Garbage. I'm not answering. Okay, Garbage. that's great. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> If it was plastic cutlery that was not black, it would actually be recycled. Really? But if it's a straw, you get into the too small category and it goes in the black bin. Okay, okay, okay so the big question is, Chelsea, how'd we do? You actually did incredibly well. Better than the average waste user, yeah, material user. And it's really important. So on this Earth Day, I challenge you, look up the waste wizard in the city you live, look up your resource. Do it right and even shop that way. So maybe That's, don't buy yogurt yes. in a black plastic container, buy Ooh. it in a white, green, blue, whatever. There you go. Amazing. Noted. Yeah. Chelsea, so helpful. Thank you. Good job. I'm so impressed. helpful. We learned a lot here today. Hey there. What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.